What's up, guys? It's your boy Mark Prime 100 here with a new transfer review. On today's review, I'll be showing you guys first look of Overlord that I got today from Target. You get to look at the package itself and then take them out of the package, see how cool he actually is. So, if you see, here's Overlord, a full picture of him. He looks really big in that package. He's number 66. He's from Wave 10, so that means that he's out. Wave 10 Deluxe Awards Club will be out soon. Turn on, and you turn on, on the other side, shows a full view of his face. Which really, really creepy. Turn around, here's my full view of it. him in his roll mode. And it's nice, big truck, dirt truck mode. Also comes with the exclusive piece for Devastator's neck. And after that, same as all the construction cons, it's Devastator as well. Ah, he is really amazing pets. Now let's take him out of the package, see how cool he actually is. Alright guys, the moment you guys been waiting for. Now here is Orbital out of this package. I must say, he is a big, big figure. He's probably more bigger than Scavenger. Oh my god, I was not expecting to get over today, but he is amazing. Bringing him close for you, oh my god. Do you like the neck? He is huge. I just to I like how he has four arms. Almost like a scorpion or a spider. Who knows, but he is amazing. Turn around the back. Side view. He can also connect the neck part for there sitting right here behind him. But holy crap. He's amazing. The detail and effort has not then to bring out this amazing, amazing character is really amazing. Nice. Just like Scavenger, he's my favorite color because he has also has yellow eyes right there. And that silver paint job right there. And his hands are different, darker gray, so his feet right here. Man, he looks amazing. He just has a nice scorpion tail right there. Wow, I'm just blown away how I finally completed the Davis Data collection. I finally have all construction cards. He was the last one I needed today, and I'm finally to my toilet. And now I have him into my collection. Let's take a so look at home. I just really love all the old keys. Probably the biggest one of all, all the construction cones. Just amazing. He can move his helmet. Okay. His arms can move like that, and then turn with this. Same with this one. These can move up and down. I rather just have up to be like this. He's amazing. Same as over here, move around. Legs, you can use the splits if he wants to. His feet look awesome. Around the back, nice detail in the back as well. You can also see it with the neck part of those that it connects. Not too bad, I do like it. I don't mind it. It's pretty amazing. This roll is really huge. I really love this figure. It's pretty amazing. Just putting his package to the side. Wow, just, just really amazing. Now let's try to transform him into his big truck box. So what we do first is turn this around, this point around, and you're gonna bend it. Do the tabs in this part right here. It's a small tab right there. After that, bend it. Tap it in and you bend it. And he's gonna go in. Just be like that. And for this one, what you're gonna do is turn him around, put the Claw like this. And there's gonna be two tabs right there. This one's for the deficit and this one's for this truck bar. So after that, you just plug it in and you're gonna have something like that. Repeat the same process, turn this one all the way around, tap it in there in the same spot, fold it under it for this one, put the claw back. Now you're gonna bring it up up here. You're gonna try your best to connect it. Something like that, and then there you go, connect. Now, what you do is take out the neck, put it aside, fold the sticker back, 
lift this up, bring that down, and afterwards, you know, I want to twist these parts and put them put all the way up like this. Afterwards, you know, connect them to your place. Just double check you have that. Let's close in the tab so it loose. And we're gonna have the back already completely transformed. Now we're gonna work on the front. And what we're gonna do is take this part, lift it all the way up. Make sure you have clearance to move the wheels up. Okay. And put this toe and then land like this and twist it. You have something like this. Something like this for the same process. The toe in. Fold this out. Just tuck in. And after that, you connect them both. They have the front part of overload truck mode ready to be prepared. Afterwards, you can bring this part over here. Connect it. Tap them together. Now what we can do is bring these wheels down. Pop it. Make sure everything's tapped together. Make sure you fine. Just bring it down. I think I'm missing something. So, play with them right. Hmm, something to have right on my guns. I can't tangle this again. I think I messed up something. Wrong. I forgot this trash room is. I'm not sure what's not working. Forgot. Yeah. As a new figure, so I'm gonna get, get in the hang of it.
Stuhl. I did it right, I'm not sure. I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, I see what I did wrong. So, the reason why it wasn't going down because you have to move the head up front. And there, it stays put. You have to hold here. Actually, this part doesn't untamp. Hold it there. Push this part down all the way and then stay still and bring these wheels down. And there you have overloaded this nice huge truck motor. I say I do a little detail on this one. We can connect the neck point to this right here. There he is in this nice awesome big truck boat. Tula, he is a huge figure. He was amazing. He's more bigger than him. Bigger than all the construction ones combined. In real life, I never seen this kind of vehicle, but it's amazing how they did it with the overload figure. Pretty amazing. Tula, a nice detail on him. Really happy that I got him to my coach. Now, Let's transform him into his devastating mode. So what we do is put the knife to the side. Okay, I'm going to take this out. Turn this hold over. Bend these down. Do this one. Bend this down. And we put these tabs down here. Twist them all the way around. Take the claws out. What we can do is try to put, put the other tab on this one. Put it on the top one now. So it could be something like this. Still keep the other part in though. Something like this. I repeat the same process. Take this one out. Twist it like this. And then go over around. Connect it to right here. Make sure this is still tapped in as it was at the beginning. To this part right here. And then the, the part where they hold the legs is not complete. Now we can do is um, tangle this part. Some out for you guys. Take this part out. Take the wheels out. Then we're gonna have to take it on thing like this. Then this down. And then here is all load. And there's there is an all I must say it looks pretty amazing. It looks huge. I do like the nice detail on him that I give for him. You turn around. See, he is now ready to be combined into his devastator form. Uh, I really did enjoy combining this into his devastator mode, transforming him into his, his vehicle mode and his role mode. Alright, yeah, guys, there is my awesome review on Overlord. Just put it like this. So, yeah, there is my review on the Transformer Sinister's Leader Class Overlord. 
I hope you guys really did enjoy this video because I really did enjoy my video for you guys. Stay tuned for my for my Devastator Super Series video coming tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be showing you guys how to find it and everything. But for now, this is my Power 100. And I hope you guys enjoy, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next Transformers video. How about Transform and Rollout? Peace, guys.